Hi Vogue. Hi, it's almost 6 a.m. I haven't really slept yet. I took like a two hour nap, but I'm going to take off my yesterday makeup, do my skincare, and then re get ready. I brought fun little sheet masks since I'm at a hotel and I wanted to have a really like decadent, full on skincare routine and do all the fun things. I feel like I've changed my skincare routine a lot. I found some new products that I really like. I'm gonna start with this oil cleanser. I always use oil cleanser as the first step in my skincare routine. I've really been liking this one from Anua. It's the Anua Heart Leaf Pore Control Cleansing Oil and I feel like it's really good at taking off all my makeup. Okay. This makeup has been on my face for probably since 8 a.m. So almost 24 hours now and I'm sure that some of it has seeped into my pores by this point. I just take like two and a half-ish pumps and on a dry face, I start rubbing off my makeup. I'm actually at a hotel right now for a work offsite that I had for my job and it's been such a fun time but I fell asleep from like 12.30 to 2 a.m.-ish since then. I've been up and I started watching the K-drama, Marry My Husband. I watched two episodes so far and it's pretty good. I like it. It's interesting. It's a little slow pace. I basically just use this cleansing oil all over my face, anywhere that I know I've put makeup or skincare from the previous day. So I bring it down to my neck as well. And then usually that's like good for face makeup, but then I take another pump, like half a pump and I really get in there with my eyeshadow and my mascara. When I put on mascara, I usually do two to three coats, so there's a lot of it, and I think it's really hard to take off my eyes, but I kind of just like rub down in a gentle motion, following the shape of the eyelashes. Sometimes when you forget to take off all your mascara and you have some leftover on your eye, it really, like you feel it. Especially the next morning, I'll just wake up with like blobs of mascara in my inner corner, and it's not. A comfortable feeling. I have no fatigue at all and this is my last day before I go back home. I'm taking the train back to New York City at like 5 p.m. later today so I figure I'll just like sleep on the three and a half hour train ride so I don't actually need to sleep in a night and I really wanted to stay up during my last night in this hotel. I just like really enjoyed the hotel vibe. It's my first time ever staying at a hotel and having a room of my own and I love it. Now I want to do a staycation. I'm going to use warm water and rinse this off my face. Now, while my face is still wet, I'm going to use the Anua Heart Leaf Pore Setinol Pore Deep Cleansing Foam. Over the last couple of years, I've been trying out more Korean skincare. I like different cleansing foams and such. This Anua one is the one that I really like. It feels very gentle on the skin. One of the feelings that you definitely should not have after washing your face is like a tight feeling. But with this cleanser, I get a very soft feeling. Like my skin already kind of feels moisturized, which is interesting. So it just works really well for me. And I also have very, very, very oily skin. Like even though it's winter and everyone's like struggling with dryness. And I'm struggling with dryness, like my hands are constantly dry. My face is constantly oily. So it's been really good for my oily skin too, to like really get into the pores and make sure everything's clean. So now while my skin is still a little wet, I'm going to use this toner from Round Lab. It's a very liquidy toner, so I like using it next before I use Tretinoin. But I just put it on the area I've just washed. Yay, man. I'm gonna let that dry down on my face. And then I'm going to use my Dermatica Tretinoin. I've been using Tretinoin since... Oh, I've been using it for a long time. I think I started using it almost a year ago and it changed my skin. I was really consistent at the beginning and then I took a break from it, especially because I got a Fraxel laser skin treatment. So around that time, I think it just threw me off my routine. And then since then, I haven't been as consistent using it, but I'm trying to be better about it. This is prescribed by a doctor, but I get it through Dermatica. When I first started using Tretinoin, I think I noticed the biggest difference because when I first started using it, I had active acne at the time, but since then, I haven't had like, really significant acne. I just did like one and a half little pump. You're supposed to put a thin layer all over your face. I don't want to put too much. And now that my skin is dry, I'll just rub. You're supposed to let it dry on your face for like three to five minutes. So I just wait until that time passes and in the meantime, I'm gonna wash my hands. 
My skin definitely isn't perfect, but it's improved so much from how it was in the past. I still, like, in particular, struggle with hyperpigmentation on my face and more hyperpigmentation and more hyperpigmentation. That's like a big one for me right now. But it's been a couple minutes, so now I'm gonna do a sheet mask. I haven't done a sheet mask in forever. So I brought a couple from my house. I have the Papa Recipe Bombi Honey Mask, one from Metaheal. Then I have this cute one. I have a cute little bunny. And then this one, which I got from Korea. I think I'm gonna do the Bombi Honey Mask. I'm actually not very good at putting on sheet masks, so I'm gonna try not to get it. Oh, it started sticking to each other. Oh well, okay. Oh my god, it's all stick. Onto my neck and then my arms. It is 6.19 a.m., so I'll take it off at around 6.35. It's been 15 minutes, so I'm gonna take this off. Wow. That feels good. And then with the leftover essence, just... Uh, okay. I'll kind of wait for my face to dry down a little bit. Normally, I would use this Numbazen serum, but this is like a deep sleep mask serum, so I would use it at night, and it's almost 7 a.m. now, so I'm not going to use that. So instead, I'm just going to follow up the sheet mask with this moisturizer from Hamish. This is the Moringa Ceramide Hyaluronic Hydrating Cream. This is definitely a thicker cream. I usually use it at night. I'm just gonna use it right now in my skincare routine. I feel like the vibe for my skincare routine these days has been one, getting back into tretinoin and then two, just making sure my skin feels very moisturized I'm using this Mother Made Super Plumping Vitamin E Vegan Lip Mask That's pretty much my skincare routine right now, at least the night version of it I really love all of the products that I use I'm so happy to find a skincare routine that works for me I'm going to give this like 10 minutes to dry and then do my makeup and actually get ready for the day So thank you for watching I hope you have had a great week and a great day Bye bye